Let me go to Walt. Walt's calling us from Florida. Hey, Walt. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Uh, Dan, I got a quick question. Uh, I've been in education now. I'm starting my 30th year, and so retirement's right there. Uh, I'm in the pension plan in the state, but they allow us one time switch over to an investment plan. And I'm thinking about doing that right before I retire. Then I can pull it out and reinvest it, you know, in annuities, Christian annuities or things like this and get out of the pension plan. Uh, What's your take on that? Well, here's what I would say I'd want you to do first. Well, I like your thought. Like your idea, I don't have, I'm, I'm not against that. As a matter of fact, I think it's a great plan. But before you do that, I want you to think of this. So when you are ready to do that and you get that plan uh, thought out and you're, you're thinking that's the way you're going to do, go. At the same time that they give you the paperwork and tell you about doing that, they're also going to give you some of the numbers on taking your pension plan and annuitizing it and what your monthly income is going to be as a result of doing that. When you look at that monthly income from that, I want you to consider the fact that are you going to be able to take the lump sum or the uh, amount that you're able now to roll over into your old plan and let's just, I'm making numbers up, let's just say it's $100,000. Are you going to be able, month after month after month, for the rest of your life, take a look at the life uh, monthly income that they give you? Or do you think you're going to consistently be able to make that kind of income over your over your lifetime? And sometimes you'll be able to, sometimes you won't. Sometimes there are very good income numbers that they give you. Sometimes they're not so good, and you have to look at that. And I would weigh that against doing charitable gift annuities. I'd weigh that against investment income and so on and so forth. Because there's something to be said for the consistency of the income. So I don't want you to just, well, here's the problem that we've made, and I pointed this out in my case of income statement that I wrote, you can get that on the website at financialissues.org. You ought to, you know, read that. But one of the things that the mistakes that we have made as retirees over the years is we immediately jump at that lump sum rollover or distribution because it's a big number. And we think, wow, you know, that's that's three hundred thousand dollars or whatever it is. You know, it's a big number to us. And we think, surely, you know, I want to get my hands on that. I want to have the availability to get my hands on it. I want to have control over that, and that's what I want to do. All the while, we're not thinking about our consumption needs in our retirement. We're not thinking about that, and we need to be, because that's more important than anything else. So I like the plan. I'm all for it. I'm the first one to usually tell people, hey, you need to gain control over it. You need to roll it over, roll it out into an IRA account over a Timothy plan or in a brokerage account where you can have control over it and you can be biblically responsible in your investing. I heard this morning because somebody sent me a clip this morning of a Christian counselor um, has uh, has a, uh, a financial Christian counseling kind of program. And somebody I know sent me and and they sent me somebody sent me a clip of him telling people you know to go to fidelity and somewhere i forget what the other mutual fund company was you know and not even thinking about the idea of being biblically responsible with where they go and i i just have such an issue with that you know i and uh, i don't doubt the um Christian conviction of this person, uh, that's not my point. But I don't understand why we can keep God out of that part of our life. Uh, That's very frustrating to me uh, when I hear those things. So anyway, uh, I like the idea of doing what you suggest because you'll have an opportunity to be able to be biblically responsible with that money that God has blessed you with. And I think that's great. But I do want you to look at the numbers and think about that.